Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about different types of asphalt cement products. Asphalt used in pavements is produced in different forms, including solid asphalt and liquid asphalt. Solid asphalt is called asphalt cement. It's a semi-solid material that cannot be applied directly as a binder without being heated. A liquid asphalt uh, includes asphalt carback and asphalt emulsions, and they can be used without heating. Asphalt concrete consists of uh, asphalt binder and aggregates. They are mixed together at a high temperature, and then they are placed and compact on the road when they are still hot. Historically, asphalt concrete was called hot mix asphalt, which is written as HMA. They are mixed at temperatures from 135 degrees Celsius to 160 degrees Celsius. With increasing environmental concerns, technology has been developed to produce warm mix asphalt, which is written as WMA. They are produced at temperatures from 110 degrees Celsius to 130 degrees Celsius. Asphalt cement is a blend of hydrocarbons of different molecular weights. They are used in hot mix asphalt and warm mix asphalt. Liquid asphalt includes asphalt carbac, which is an asphalt cement uh, mixed with petroleum solvents, and asphalt emulsions, which is a mixture of asphalt cement, water, and emulsifying agent. Liquid asphalt um, is often used for pavement preservation purpose, for example, in a fog seal, or they can be mixed um, with aggregates to produce cold mix as well. Also, uh, liquid asphalts are convenient to use. We don't need to heat them. Um, they cannot produce the quality of asphalt concrete comparable to what can be produced by asphalt cement. Asphalt cement has excellent adhesive characteristics, which make it a superior binder for pavement applications. In fact, asphalt cement is the most common binder material used in pavements. A fog seal um, is a type of pavement preservation treatment applied to uh, existing asphalt pavement surfaces to preserve its functional and structural integrity, and also to delay a more costly treatment in the near future. Typically, a fog seal consists of applying a slow sighting asphalt emulsion on the existing pavement surface without aggregates. It's intended to penetrate into the surface pores of the pavements to seal very small cracks and surface voids, as well as to coat surface aggregate particles. Then let's talk about some details about asphalt cement, asphalt carbac, and asphalt emulsions. Asphalt cement is a blend of hydrocarbons of different molecular weights. The characteristics of the asphalt depend on the chemical composition and the distribution of the molecular weights. The chemical composition is very complex and it depends on the oil source and the refining method. Mostly um, they have hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms and they also have some sulfur, nitrogen and oxygen atoms. As the distribution shifts toward heavier molecular weights, the asphalt will become harder and more viscous. The characteristics of asphalt is greatly affected by temperature. Uh, when temperature is lower, um, the asphalt gets harder and more brittle. And when the temperature is higher, um, the asphalt usually becomes softer. Uh, so it's definitely temperature sensitive, but it's fairly durable um, in the correct temperature range. As I mentioned before, asphalt cement adheres very well to most aggregates, 
and due to these excellent adhesive characteristics, it's the most common binder material used in the pavements. Asphalt carbide is produced by dissolving asphalt cement in a petroleum solvent. When the carbide is sprayed on the pavement or mixed with aggregates, the solvent evaporates, leaving the asphalt residue as the binder. In the past, um, asphalt carbides were widely used for highway construction. They were very effective and could be applied easily. However, carbides are hazardous materials due to the volatility of the solvents, and the application of carbides releases environmentally unacceptable hydrocarbons into the atmosphere. In fact, many regions with air pollution problems have completely prohibited the use of any carbide material. An alternative to dissolving the asphalt in a solvent is dispersing the asphalt in water as emulsions. So before we talk about asphalt emulsion, let's first talk about what's emulsion in general. An emulsion is a dispersion of one liquid in another liquid, where the two of them stay separately, usually with droplets of one liquid in the continuous phase of the other liquid. This can be an oil in water emulsion with droplets of oil in a water continuous phase. Or this can be a water in oil emulsion with droplets of water in an oil continuous phase. Emulsions can actually be found in your home, including milk, butter, and car wax. Actually, um, in addition to water and asphalt, there is another component in the asphalt emulsion. It's called emulsifier. The water and the emulsifier together are called soap. The emulsifier is added to stabilize the emulsion. Emulsified asphalts typically consist of about 60% to 70% of asphalt cement, 30% to 40% of water, and a fraction of a percent of emulsifying agent. Um, they are used as stabilizer. This is because asphalt and water without any form of stabilization will quickly become separate, as shown in this figure. In general, Emulsifiers allow you to make your asphalt droplets charged. It can be either a positive charge or a negative charge. Because all of the asphalt droplets will have the same charge, they will stay away from each other. Briefly, the tail portion of the emulsifier will attach itself to the asphalt droplet, leaving the head portion exposed. The electric charge on the head portion causes a repulsive force between the asphalt droplets, which maintains their separation in the water. Okay, that's how the asphalt emulsion forms. And uh, also, um, asphalt emulsion and the asphalt carbides are, um, they are used for the same applications, such as um, pavement preservation or cold mix. The use of emulsion is increasing because they do not include hazardous materials or costly solvents.